What's going on gamers? This is DBM Gamer. So today I wanted to talk about the new strikes that are coming in the Taken King. But before I can get into that, I want to give out a few shout outs. Now my shout outs is one way that I try to show appreciation back to the community of gamers that have gotten me this far. So now I wanted to give a shout out to Alpha Vapor, Matt Co, Nick Marinick, Lee Longden, Paperman14, and Gallahorn and Leo for also following me on Twitter. Now the first one I want to talk about is right on earth, the Fallen Saber. Now the cool part of this is that you can actually go to the end, or at least what I think is the end of this strike. If you have done the Silent Fang bounty, it will take you to this area. Now this door has been a mystery to me since the Alpha actually. Well if you wall glitch beyond it, eh, there's only a cavern there so it's not much to look at. Now what's known about the strike itself is that Rasputin has called for aid from a fallen attack being led by a giant super powered shank. Finally, shank burn guns will have a use I guess. Now the second one takes place on the Dreadnought. Now deep within the Dreadnought, one of Oryx's dreaded dark blades, Alec Hul, is found in prison, never having seen the light for countless years for his defiance to Oryx. Now Bungie has already shown us what dark blade looks like. And being the name is the Sunless Cell, the final encounter might actually take place with minimal lighting. This strike may also show off some of the new mechanics, so this is something that I'm really kind of looking forward to. The third also happens on the Dreadnought. This one is called the Shield Brothers. A pair of Cabal leaders have invaded the Dreadnought and are attempting to blow up the ship with the Guardian still inside. Now this ties into an image that was shown where you were looking for a downed Guardian ship that I think belonged to Eris. Uh, so there's an angle of why you see Cabal on the Dreadnought in addition to the Taken. And now the last one is the PlayStation exclusive, the Echo Chamber. Guardians must stop their restorative mind from bringing back Secreon, the Nexus mind from the past and completing Venus's transformation into a Vex machine world. Now this one has been seen the most since it's the one with the rotating room fight where one Guardian will have to hold a relic to complete it. Now this is also one of the new mechanic type fights that will be coming in the Taken King. And add to that, three remake strikes with a new Taken enemy flavor to really help freshen them up and you will have a nice new assortment of strikes to run. Now this week going forward, the hype train will be in full effect. Now I've shown you guys some of the goodies that are coming, but Bungie is about to blow the lid off. This coming week, August 19th at 11 a.m. Pacific Time, Bungie will have a Twitch reveal stream. Now this may talk about how your gear will work going forward and the reveals are like dumping coal into the hype train. Yeah, choo choo. Yeah, I'm really looking forward to this coming Wednesday. But guys, if you like this type of content, just hit that like button or leave a comment or if you just want to see some more, hit that subscribe button. But as always guys, have a good one.